Hi and welcome to Creative Pizzazz. Today I'm going to show you a product, a project that I made. This is a folder photo holder and your photo would slip in here at the top. I guess if I actually got something that was photo thickness because I've got the paper, the wire f to the purpose, perfect thickness there. So there you go. And what I have done is this was actually some electrical wire that I found in my husband's shop and it's got the copper in inside of it. And I took my pliers and I just bent a shape so that I had a loop at the top to hold the photo. And then I wanted to add an adage ticket here. And so I created another loop here in the center. I have this little handcrafted tag because this is going to be a gift. I didn't want it to be completely copper. You can see the difference here. I wanted it more grungy because I mean the rest of the project was going to be grungy and vintage and distressed. So what I did was I took some uh, acrylic paints in a blue and a brown and I just dabbed it with my finger all over and what that did was it just gave it a more of a uh, old dirty and starting to uh, tarnish and get that patina on it again. For the base, what I used was, this was a uh, block from, I went to a thrift store and I found these blocks and the lady saw me, I don't know, there was like two or three dozen, I don't even remember how many there were, but I got those for like um, two dollars and there was a big nice basket with them too that I really liked and all of that was two dollars so that worked really well so I took it and I base coated it in a chocolate brown and then I added two coats two coats of the crackle medium the reason I did two coats is because uh, it soaks in and when it soaks in so quick, I kind of worry about it giving me a good crackle finish. And so sometimes I do two coats if it soaks in and dries really, really quickly. I like to see that there's a little bit of a sheen left when I get through doing the crackle medium. Then I put a, uh, it's a parchment color. It's just an antique white over the top. I then finished with a uh, walnut ink on the edges. Oh, I actually did spray it. I don't know that you're going to be able to see that. Maybe right there. Let me see if I can get the camera. Hmm. Maybe. There's a little bit. I sprayed the whole block with Buccaneer Bay Blue from Lindy Stamp Gang. And that gave a nice blue sheen and walnut ink distressing over the entire block. I then had this piece of paper which came from a product patching packaging that I purchased. Um, I just really liked all the images on it. I thought it was really neat. The dress forms, lady shoes, bird cage, chandeliers and the carriages. It was just quite beautiful. So all I did for it was it was already craft color and all I did was I want to ink the edges and then I sprayed it with Lindy Stamp Gang in the Buccaneer Bay Blue. And you could see that blue shimmer there. Then finally for the top, I wanted to add some Wild Orchid Crafts uh, flowers uh, for a project. This is my final submission. And these are some of the roses that I made using the hydrangea petals. I took those and made the rose. And you can see my video on how to do that. It's called A Rose for Beginners. And it's a Wild Orchid Crafts tutorial. Then I took a uh, walnut ink, which I make my own. You use water, hot water, and then I used walnut ink crystals. That way I can get it the, the deepness and the darkness, the intensity of color that I want. Uh, you can also use reinkers, and that will be perfectly fine. Or you can buy it from Lindy Stamp Gang as well. But I just wanted the coloration. So I did that a little bit, and then I added the Buccaneer Bay Blue over the top. I did not spray it on, though. I used my paintbrush and then painted around the edges. So if you look there, you can see how it only goes 
um, just a little ways in. And I really liked how it was the edges of the, the petals. And I did that to each of the three flowers that I made. And all three of these were made using that same hydrangea tutorial. Here are some of the four millimeter roses from Wild Worker Crafts. And for these, I just took the, uh, you'll see it on the video. I, I took the spray tip and just touched it to the flowers and that gives just a little bit of coloration on the end without completely covering the flower. I added pieces of tulle that I just tied in knots so that it would stick out around the outside of the, the project and give it some texture and interest. Here's another small rose that I just touched to the center of the spray tip uh, just to give the color to the middle of the flower, not to the rest of the flower, and I really love that effect. I think you can see that pretty well. This is a bauble I bought in at Michael's in the floral department. I just I bought a package of those. I put a daub, daub. <laughs> I put a tiny drop of glossy accents on the uh, punch. I think this is a half inch to a three quarters inch. I can't remember, but it was the one that fit this particular glass bobble. And so it depends on what you get. You can even get larger ones. Uh, at Dollar Tree and Michaels, then these are much larger. But I punched out a piece of the Die Cuts with a View or the DCWV Mariposa paper, and it was a butterfly, and it's uh, sort of the orange mar monarch, and it was close to the edge, so it was a little less intense, which I enjoyed. And I used that uh, as filler here on this side of the block. And then finally, we're back to the front again. So that's the block that I made. This is again for a friend of mine. And I just wanted to share that with you today.